An Edgecombe firefighter has described racing to rescue people and their pets as the streets became rivers. We had a remarkable interview with Toe uh, in the last hour that's online uh, if you want to read about it or hear it. But Steve Morrissey told our reporter Sharon Brett, uh, Brett Kelly how quickly everything was happening. Yeah, it's pretty horrendous over there. Um, there's a lot of debris around. There's a, a major current going down through all of those main side streets over the other side. So the river is actually running through town. How quickly did you need to get people out? I mean, how dangerous was it? Um, I wasn't there for the initial part of it, but the guys were getting them out pretty quickly. There was um, Most of them ended up getting rescued by jet boat because it came up so fast. Um, we just couldn't get them until the water was actually around all the houses already. And yeah. what, what have you been doing for the rest of the day? Has that um, been the whole day, really rescuing we've people? We've just been over just um, clearing the houses, walking through the streets, um, sort of up to waist deep, just making sure there was nobody in any houses, um, getting cats and dogs and rabbits out of houses, and yeah, just, just clearing them, making sure nobody's left. What have you done with the animals? Um, the civil defence people have actually taken them. Animal control came out and got some of them earlier on. Yeah. Have you lived here a long time? Me? Yep, yep. I've been here... Well, oh, over 25 years. So what? Yeah. what's, I mean, how does it compare? Is this the worst oh, I've never seen anything like it. Yeah, it's terrible. I mean, they're calling it a 1 in 500 year flood. Easy, easy. We had, we had one here in 2004, I think it was, that came out this side of town um, and all the plains filled up with water. Um, but as far as houses, this is the worst it's ever been. What, mm. what is, is, is it going to be a major job cleaning up? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's going to be huge. Um, when this finally goes down, there's going to be that much debris and silt and rubbish to clean up. It's going to be horrible. Some some places probably won't come back. Yeah. Really? Yeah. You think some people, some places uh, no, won't some be livable? Some places won't be fixable. Yeah. Many? Um, quite a few. It was it was hard to tell going through because the water's that deep. Um, there's cars that are fully submerged. It's that deep in some places. Um, so it's hard to tell. There might be houses that are off their foundations and all sorts. What's yeah. the worst that you saw when you were going around um, this morning? Hard to explain, really. <laughs> um, yeah, there's there's caravans and cars that have been shunted down the streets and up against fences and pushed up against each other. And yeah, there's the the torrent going down the streets, phenomenal. How yeah. does it make you feel being a local, your town? Yeah, it's not nice. <laughs> yeah, pretty pretty sad, really. Um, we'll get it back, and I suppose it'll it'll come back better. That's uh, well, a really wonderful volunteer firefighter, Steve Morrissey, talking to Sharon Brick Kelly.